organize the group meetup. So um, to so to, to keep things less um, like one direction, like usually there's a there's a talk and then you guys sit there and listen, right? So we're thinking of making more quiz or coding challenge um, to spice it up, and you guys can actually do some practical things or learn some practical things. Okay, so for today, uh, so if you have the laptop, you can go to that URL. Um, so we have this uh, challenge. Um, so on my left side, I have a program. So basically, it has a array of struct, which is uh, one, two, three here. And then uh, we want to create an array, uh, sorry, a slice of uh, um, pointers to each of these structs. So, um, okay, so and then uh, we have this program, which is, if you run it, will be wrong. Right. So your task is, fine. Um, can you guys guess what's wrong with this program and how to fix it? So if you have the laptop, you can go ahead and try. You mean the thing on the right is wrong or right? Um, the thing on the right is the what you get by running this program. Okay. Uh, so except my one? my comment. Okay. This <coughs> so you mean there's something wrong on the right now? Yeah. Right. So so basically. Um, we have a slice of uh, full struct, right? Mm -hmm. And then the first full struct is one, uh, mm -hmm. has a value of one for bar, mm -hmm. uh, two, three, so on and so forth. What we're trying to create is a slice, a pointer to full struct based on this one, right? And uh, supposedly, um, when I print it out, um, it should have a um, pointer to address to one, two, three. Right? So, okay. Okay, then. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I, let's wait for three people, then we, we do the solution. Okay. So one, two, else? Ryan looks very. <coughs> you look very. Un, um, right, this is too easy. How many of you have uh, worked with Go before? Just to get a show of the Not so much. Um, okay, so um, okay, maybe we'll start with you first. Um, okay, so I have my so I have the code here. Can you go up and uh, try to? So what's wrong with the program? Huh? I, I, I don't know how to fix it, but I I mean <laughs> I didn't think how to fix it, but I know that okay. the order is not maintained for the array, so it will not be printed in the same order for the pointers and for the values. Is that the um, issue? No. Okay, so let's try that. So you want to try and uh, fix it? <laughs> <laughs> will help if you don't know the syntax. <laughs>
So what I do is just for I colon yeah. yeah. For region I colon. Yeah, something like that. This looks fairly simple. Yeah. Um, but um, so let's go back to the uh, earlier example. So why in this case? Um, because so, so when you do this, it generates a value and it keeps that pointer at the same place because uh, you're not using the the value anymore. It's sort of garbage collected, right? So keep doing one, two, three, and you still have that same pointer pointing to the place. So when you do, all the pointers are pointing to the same address, you know. Right, um, right. correct. So, but then, um, why, um, um, so, when, when, so when you declare uh, for i, uh, a equal to range origin, um, then when does i and a get created? i, what do you mean? I mean these two variables. <coughs> um, when are these created? During runtime? Um, when it runs, yeah. Concurrent yeah. and reuse. No, so where is the, what you mean the stack? <coughs> um, um, I mean, um, so yeah, you are correct when you say that if um, on like this line basically refer to the address of the same value. Yeah, right? Right, which um, is right. E always. Right. Um, so probably. Um, the address get reused every time because um, A is just a simple string. Hello. Right. Um, what what I'm trying to get at is um, so normally um, um, so this this basically illustrate uh, one of the uh, properties of Go that would be the scope of variable. So uh, scope. Yes, right. Scope right. Yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to see if I can find a way to bring yeah. the point across. Uh, so this this is a classic example of uh, scoping. So for for example in Go, this basically means that when you enter the loop, uh, you create two variables, one i and one a, and then uh, for every iteration, you assign a new value to each of these. So when um, so when we first run the program, right, we are giving like a class of three three three. This is because of uh, all the uh, pointers. Um, I mean the pointer's slice is getting the, uh, the address of the same uh, variable which um, get assigned during iteration. So yeah, so well, that's one of the one that you do. Um, so, so basically this means that um, this, so this piece of code is basically in then, uh, then you have step where you So on, right? So for each iteration, you you assign the same value to the same variable. <coughs> yeah, this one. right? So at the end of the loop, your i will be two, and your a will be uh, the value of this thing. Okay. And then so when when you get the uh, so this this basically give you the address, but it's not um, giving a hex. Um, it's not giving the actual address. Um, so so when you do this it basically give the uh, reference to the uh, value of uh, a which is three at that point uh, that's the address for a and a it's the pointer to three yeah yeah but how about the first loop where it, yeah. No, no, no. The, the address for that A is always the same. It's just the value is replaced and it keeps replaced overwriting and replaced. the same. Yeah, it keeps overwriting the same address. The but the address is the same, the values are changed. So by the time you get to the third one, the you know the address is still pointing at the same value. The pigeonhole is still the same. Can you try to remove, uh, change the assignment into a print? Say. No, no, print you will get one, two, three. 
But the address, e, the address of the will always be the same. Oh. The same pigeon hole. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's about it. Right. Oh, this is some practical thing, a muscle thing that. Okay. Okay. I, mean, I don't know if it will clarify, but if you print that to do okay. the pigeon hole assigned P instead of all assigned B, just to show that it's actually the address. <coughs> Yeah, address and value. No, no, I'm going to say for the guy who was asking yeah. the question. The, uh, percent B, percent B, 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 D. B from vector. Yeah. Address value. I, yeah. Okay. Yeah, then just wait. Just print the address also. also yeah. If you do, if you do percentage P, okay. oh, P, 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 P. Yeah, sorry, P. sorry, for Papa. Pointer. I think that will be the actual memory address. Yeah. I is D. Okay. I is D. D is the value. Another one for B. I is always a value. This is what you have. See that? Well, two. The. Okay. Hey, no, the no, 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 no. Yes. See, all the same address. <laughs> so you, when you first enter the loop, you create this variable A, right? Which has this address. And then every iteration just assign new values at the end. Well, actually, I don't find that. Why is it the same address necessarily? Yeah. Because the variables you we use. Is the, the, the address of variables looking? Is, ah, is that like a guaranteed thing? Oh, when it is it is address is allocated by the key. But is it guaranteed to be? But the it's same? not. It's not. Like it's, it's, it's the same variables. So it's the same variables. But in this case, it is. But is it guaranteed? To be the same so this this is a property of how scoping work in Go. So it has something called a block scope, where basically this this part is a block. Actually, if you have a long enough running program and A gets garbage collected, then A will be a different value. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, this okay, yeah. this is a trap where you know if you do a for i a and then after that inside you have a Go something and you have a function inside, then you find that A how come. Your goal routine always have the same values, but you must actually pass it a bracket uh, value inside, you know, uh, things like that. Uh, some of the gotchas that you have to take note of. Uh, when you want to try to run a goal routine inside a for loop, because uh, the variables do tend to stick, you know, and you find that like, you, you don't know why your certain variables are always the same. Yeah, so the red white address is three instead of even <coughs> okay. So maybe we'll take it offline. So we'll move on to the, uh, the yeah, next one. one. Yeah. So you can go back and read about scoping 